great pleasure that I welcome you all to this historic occasion on the com commencement of the construction of a Pop Water Bridge. I want to use this medium to greatly appreciate this, the Executive Governor of Cross River State, Senator Prof. Ben Ayade, C.O.N., for his tenacious assistance and positive response towards the commencement of the construction of Opokwa Kreya Bridge. The, the said bridge is 30.5 meters by 9 meters with two sides pedestrian walkways. So just forget the spelling of what is here. Walkways of 70 cm each. That means when the bridge is constructed, you have two walkways left and right. Vehicle can be coming. I can also walk through that walkway and without obstructing or make maybe cause any panic on the driver coming or going. Okay? So I'm up there one side because the walkway have a little bit of shoulder up. I can walk freely and the vehicle can see park freely. And nothing will happen to either me or the vehicle. Maybe the coming uh, panic and that's any other accident. So yes. And the height of this bridge, you can see what is there already now. I describe it here, we have this manual. You see the height of the bridge, where your hands can raise from that way. This one now is going above that. Because of our finding, we discovered that when you have that high level of temperature of water at a particular time, okay, the, the water can sometimes flow above this steel bridge that is there. So what we are trying to do now by the grace of God is going to go a little bit above that with about 1.5 meters. Perhaps it will help us that even if it's raised or we have this high temperature of water flowing here, the bridge will still be, be there for us to travel through. I went, uh, my brother, Senator Stephen Odi, our dear brother called me as early as 8 a.m. on Thursday and asked me to mobilize equipment to site the next day which is on friday the eve of our presidential election and said in clear terms that the executive governor have released some funds to enable us commence the construction of the bridge i was pleasantly surprised and set out immediately to mobilize to site on a normal day Nobody can release his equipment to anybody, even if this is coming from his father, mother, or the bishop of my church. Without financial mobilization, and that is the truth, even this little equipment can't move anywhere if you didn't give us five, seven to two weeks advance payment up front, depending on the days you are going to use the equipment. But here we are, without getting a dime from you. We have to mobilize. Why? Because my brother asked me to do that. So let me just go off for this year. You know, while he was in the red chamber as a senator of Federal Republic of Nigeria representing Cross River North, I visited him just once. And what I discussed with him then was nothing but just this bridge. And as God may have it, he didn't continue in the house, but he has not dropped the vision and the dream. So his response then was that this bridge actually is his number one target. That's what he's going to pursue. I also remember when he went to meet with uh, Fashola, a former governor of Lagos State, that is now the Minister of Works and Houses, Federal Minister of Works and Houses. He told me I didn't go there with him. Then I was in worry. He called me to tell me he, traveled, he has gone to see the minister with regard to this same bridge. Now, he asked me to come. Why would I not come with that money? So I trusted him because I, I never believed that he will use me to play politics. And of course, he will never do that. While we are here on site, even to yesterday, people passing keep to say, it is the usual way of coming to deceive us to vote for them. Otherwise, this project, as we are here now, after the governorship election, they say that before the president, uh, presidential election, and I called one of our brothers and told him, since people are saying that even at the platform, I'm not moving any equipment to site again. Already my brother have asked me to go. 
There's no need going before the election because they don't even believe it. So let the election finish and then we will come. And when we come, let them keep doubting. And yet they continue to doubt and say, no, it's a political project. Well, I'm saying to all today, if my brother, your son and your brother have lied to anybody anywhere, he cannot lie to me. He won't be comfortable to lie to me that, come, bring equipment to site. We have some money to do a project. He can't try that. So now to look at the governor again, say we just conduct, conducted uh, a, a central election at the federal level, like, right? He was supposed to go for what? Did he win the election? Again, I ask. Did he win the election? Politicians that I know, I am not a politician, but I've worked with a lot of them. None of them, after losing election, we care to bring out one dime for any project to continue again. Even if that project is on already, they withdraw all funds to that program. But here is the man that, okay, some person in the hotel are lodged there came. Honestly, as we are sitting to take some rest under the tree in that environment, men gathered, we are drinking and saying, at least he has lost. Let's see what he's going to do again. And another person that was there also say, he said he's going to build a bridge. Let's see if he's going to build a bridge again. I never say this anywhere. I'm saying it here today. But after saying all of that, this is it. We are here today and the bridge is on. I give this bridge just 30, between 30 and 50 days that we should launch the bill. Amen. Amen. And just like the other speakers had said earlier, is it not worth saying thank you to the governor? Is it not worth thanking the governor? If, thank you very much. If Senator was here himself, I'm sure he will be saying that yes, just like uh, the engineer said, that look, this is politics. Some people will think this is politics. They have come to deceive us again, to deceive us again. That shortly after the election, the materials will disappear from the site. That is probably what you will be thinking about him. You may be right, you may be wrong, but one thing I can tell us is that some monies have been released for this project. If he were here himself, he would have told you the amount. And this project is for real. This project is for real. By the grace of God and your support. You see, why we are talking of support here, not like the engineer said, I have been involved in a community project like this. I know the I know the trouble that it entails. Some people think there is so much money here to eat. So they want to come here, engineer, give me money, uh, give me money, give me money. If you, he doesn't give, he becomes an enemy. When in fact we are not even sure that the money that has been voted for this project will be enough. But we are praying that the prayer that has been said this morning will sustain us and get this project to the end by the grace of God. Amen.